Hello, we're going to talk about lesson three today. I hope you've had a good Labor Day uh, holiday. We'll get back to work uh, tomorrow. But the lesson is open today if you want to get started on, on Monday. We're going to talk about how the newsroom works a little bit. Look at different aspects of different newsrooms and how they all function. I will tell you that since this book has been published, newsrooms have changed in a bit with more weight given to the online side of reporting and publishing rather than the print size side. Um, staffs have been whittled down so some positions still aren't there. You might not have a chief photographer anymore or a chief copy desk editor, anything like that. But they all kind of function, the flow kind of functions the same way. Newsrooms are changing deadlines, especially for their print editions because uh, print is so disposable and so old by the time people get it that it's better to emphasize going later online than in the print because print normally you print a paper at 11 o'clock at night and by the time it gets to your doorstep at 6 in the morning that's 7 hours of news that has changed so they are rolling those deadlines back to almost 7 o'clock now in some cases with hardly any evening news in them and just kind of a wrap up of the afternoon and late or early evening news so you will see that change coming along uh, almost to the point where there used to be afternoon papers that came out at four or five in the afternoon and the deadlines are just about the same now for supposed morning editions so it is kind of crazy in the print world right now and things have changed quite a bit with very little breaking or even uh, timely news in the print version and all of it pushed online um, there is a piece in here about how a paper in Ohio covered the Charlottesville uprising 550 miles away. It's very interesting on how it worked, uh, what it did to bring the news to its readers, and I think you'll find that pretty interesting on how a newsroom operates nowadays. I also have a chapter for you to read in the book. There's a short uh, PowerPoint on what makes good local news. Uh, keep that in mind because eventually you will have to do a local news story and uh, you'll want to keep those points in mind. And you can go back to this stuff as much as you want. Once it opens, it's open for the entire semester. You have two uh, assignments. One is a little quiz on editorial judgment and you'll be given some options on which story uh, you would prefer over another as far as news judgment goes. And then the second one is on uh, today's newsroom and some thoughts of yours on what today's newsroom uh, should be, is, and could be. And the uh, same as, as in the past is do your discussion and uh, then comment on a couple other people's discussions. Um, if some of your things have not been graded yet, don't worry. I will eventually get to them. So this, uh, I did some grading uh, Saturday and Sunday and not everything was in but that's okay you have until midnight Sunday so I'll eventually get to it and if I skip something or miss something just let me know and I'll go back and find it other than that I think we're in pretty good shape for the semester I, I hope you're enjoying it. and if there's anything you really want to know about uh, let me know uh, we will get into some writing here soon and, uh, and then we'll get on to other things uh, but for now I think that's about it happy Labor Day enjoy the rest of your uh, holiday and we will talk to you next week.